Hello everyone, it's Ashley, and today I'm going to show you one of the newest cordless vacuums to come out in 2021. And we're gonna find out together if it earns the title of best cordless vacuum 2021. And if at any point you find yourself learning or enjoying this video, please take a second to like the video, or as I always say, leave me a click, boop, and ding. It makes my day. This is the EZIN G80 cordless vacuum from iLife. Yes, it's pronounced EZIN in to ease us into cleaner homes. <laughs> okay, and no, Eason did not pay me to say anything specific about this vacuum. They sent it to me in order to provide an honest, unbiased review. This is a brushless motor, which is actually super important, and I'll explain why shortly. And of course, the link is below to the newest model of this vacuum in case you decide you'd like to purchase it. I'll earn a few cents if you use that link, so thank you in advance if you do so. There are also timestamps in the description in the pinned comment for your viewing pleasure. Let's start with an overview of the features. This vacuum costs $159 on Amazon and is eligible for prime two-day shipping. One of the best features of this vacuum is the little top corner side brush. It is actually incredible and so useful for getting dirt and stuff along the wall or under hard to reach places. It kicks the dust or dirt into the path of the vacuum head, which is simple and brilliant. It does of course have two power levels. I run it on normal mode 95% of the time as the 10 kPa is plenty of suction power. On this setting, I got almost one hour of continuous runtime for the first few cycles, more than 45 minutes as advertised. Kilopascal or kPa is just a measurement of pressure. The higher the number, the higher the suction pressure. Typically about 8.5 kPa is good for dust and hair or anything over 16 kPa is great for food crumbs or bigger particles. The max power mode gives you 22 kPa, which I will use sometimes on runners or carpet. Using the max setting continuously, I time the battery life at 18 minutes and 42 seconds. So the ease in being capable of 22 kPa should have all use cases covered. And I can tell you firsthand, this baby can suck. The battery indicator will start to blink when you have about two minutes of remaining battery life, a very useful feature. And speaking of times, it takes three hours to charge from completely dead to 100% battery in the standard wall outlet. I timed this and to be exact, it was three hours and eight minutes. The Ease In G80 comes with two different ways to store the vacuum. You can use the wall mount for a low profile option that has a great way to hold the charging card or there is a dock you can leave on the floor to store the vacuum and extra tools. And here's a quick unedited sound test compared to my regular corded vacuum on both power settings. As with any capable cordless vacuum, it comes with multiple attachments and multiple brush heads. The clicking mechanism is the easiest I have used and you simply press the orange button to release and slide in the different tools and they click into place effortlessly. And yes, you can mix and match the extension pole with different tools. This is great for getting into those hard to reach areas like countertops or tabletops, furniture, and of course your car. The two-in-one nozzle slides in and out for hard edge and soft edge to protect surfaces when necessary. The Eason G80 also comes with two different roller brushes to give you options for strong performance on any surface, hardwood, tile, laminate, carpets, or runners. The heads are easily interchangeable and can be done in a matter of seconds. And of course, I'll cover cleaning each part of this vacuum shortly, so stick with me. And you may find this odd, but honestly, vacuuming in the dark can be weirdly rewarding and result in a better clean because the Eason G80 has lights on the head and it illuminates the view at an angle that regular sunlight and interior lights do not, allowing you to see dust and hair that you wouldn't normally see if the lights were on. Pair this with 270 degrees of swivel capacity and getting around chair legs and other odd areas is actually really easy and the vacuum only weighs 1.95 kilograms or 4.2 pounds, making it easy to maneuver. As mentioned at the outset of this video, the Eason G80 is a brushless motor. 
Without getting too nerdy, the service life or the time a motor lasts is usually much shorter with brush motor vacuums. Due to the wear on the brushes over time, a brush less motor has far more gradual wear and tear, meaning that generally speaking, brushless motors will last a lot longer. Now for the emptying, cleaning, and maintenance. With literally one simple press, the bottom of the canister opens, allowing everything to easily fall into the garbage. The interior part twists out very simply and has a small filter on the top that you can peel out. Both of these pieces are able to be washed with water. Then once they are completely dry, not mostly dry, completely dry, you can pop the filter back in and twist it back into place. Easy. To access the main filter, you can twist the top off and simply pull out the easily removable and replaceable filter. This one is also washable with water and then ensure it's completely dry and you can pop it back into place. So something I love about this, iLife includes an extra filter for when you purchase this vacuum. So when you wash one, you have a backup. In case you wanna use the vacuum before the other one is completely dry, it's a nice touch. So honestly, you guys, emptying, cleaning, and maintaining the parts, which is the worst part of vacuum ownership for most people, is really as easy as it gets. Now, one minor drawback from the Eason G80 is that the battery is not removable. So eventually, instead of replacing just the battery, I would have to replace the entire vacuum. Not a deal breaker for me, as by the time the battery were to degrade enough, I may be ready for a new model vacuum by that time anyways. So to wrap this up, I do honestly love this vacuum. I think the white and orange color scheme is really fresh and clean, and more importantly, it's ridiculously easy to use and does the job very well. Cleaning and maintenance is a breeze, and I like how I can charge the vacuum without using the base, and I can just like move the cord into a room and charge it there, not having to snap the entire vacuum handle into the base to charge. And I'm not gonna lie, one thing that got me really excited were the special corner bristles. They are amazing for getting dirt along the edges that no other vacuum I own can come close to doing. I'm sure I've missed something, so if you have any questions, please drop them down below and I will do my best to answer each and every one. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it, and if you decide you'd like to buy this bad boy, the link is down below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye.